the most valuable are, are solutions which address or hit the core of the problem. And the core of the problem for small businesses is uh, simplistically simple or trivial. It's uh, that they are permanently short of money and that they live on the edge, <coughs> or most of them, because of this. Uh, so it's not that philosophical to set up a business, but surviving. This is, this is, this is a problem. And uh, why you may not be able to survive? Because of this shortage of money, shortage of revolving capital, of current assets, which can be used for increasing your scale. So you set up the business, and then you either need money for R&D or for increasing your, sa uh, your sales. If you need uh, money for R&D because uh, you, you don't have any revenues, you don't sell, or, 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 or it is symbolic, then, then the situation of, of such a startup is really dramatic because it needs you know, someone who will have this appetite for risk and so on. But even if I have revenues, but this is on a small scale, this is like a trap. This is like a trap. Because being a small ent entrepreneur, I'm very vulnerable. I'm very vulnerable. Nobody wants to give me. Of course, I'm, I'm, ex I'm, I'm exaggerating. The, <coughs> the reality is not that bad, because there are also people who, 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 who try to figure out what could be efficient solutions addressing this problem. But the point of departure, and I would say the average <coughs> or the median, is that um, nobody wants to give money to an early stage enterprise. Uh, banks don't want to give, to, 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 to give credit, especially when, when generally lending is, has shrunk or is shrinking. Uh, there are very few business angels or even family and friends people. Well, they less in a, in a developing or emerging economy, there are less of those yeah. people than those who could use these funds. Um, for institutional investors, this is something which, which is uh, um, almost always an acceptable target or investment case because of the risk. Even if this is uh, something which looks like a great company, like a, like a great thing, if it has been set up, was set up uh, two years ago, or three years ago, it's very young. And, and the risk is, you know, and, and to, it, in most cases, its value, it, it's not listed, so it doesn't have in a, even market value. And, and if, if, it's not, if it is listed, then the market value is too small for, you know, sort of investors like pension funds or investment funds. If we have countries like, uh, say, Romania, Poland, Hungary, generally Central and Eastern region, the sector of VCs, venture capitals, and private equity is also, is also weak. So where these people could get money from, if not making a robbery on, on a bank? <laughs> and this is a problem, because they, ca they are not able to increase the scale, the scale of, of their business and they remain as vulnerable. If they have counterparts, if they have bigger, bigger fish trading with them, well, they, they, they confronted with long deadlines for payments and so on. So, so they, they, they cannot also use this capital from, from, uh, from the current uh, sale as fast as they, as, as they would like. So uh, there must be I like very much one word which I, which I, which I he heard before, tools or tool. I, I think it appeared in your, in your uh, survey because this, this is the key, the key question about tools or mechanism which could be, which, which could be helpful in this uh, situation. And for sure if we take this side of the say, equation, we have many many businesses which would like to use to tap capital markets to, or financial markets 
addressing general public or a broader uh, broader spectrum of investors. <coughs> But there is another side of this equation, there must be investors. And this is the question of building a culture, a certain investment culture. Having people or small organizations, specialized funds. Investment, investment funds are also, they, they do differ. Which would be interested and educated enough or enticed enough to invest in this sort of business propo propositions. And this is, you know, something like a very, very narrow channel where we have a chance to create a solution which is organized by, say, capital market and it can adequately address the situation of of entrepreneurs and and give a good a good interesting proposal for for investors when it comes to this culture this is uh, like uh, this is like uh, you know two extremes and none of these extremes can be really used for this sort of uh, endeavor one extreme are people who are very conservative to to risks so if they invest on the public market they invest in blue chips you know they invest in in, in enterprises well uh, either with 100 years of history or in uh, Facebook so this sort of things which have successfully created enormous hype around them and uh, you know passing for also, these elephants which will never die and, uh, and so on. So, so, so this is not our target. If we want to send small, small company to, to the public market. There is another extreme, people who have you know, almost limitless appetite for risk. This is not our target either. Because if we want to sell to the market this small or medium entrepreneur, we, we shouldn't turn his life and the life of investors into a casino. Why? Because sooner or later, rather sooner than later, there will be a lot of failures, not in this American style, you know, failure is a precondition for further success, but rather a failure like, like, a, like, a, cer like a certificate that this is wild, this is uh, uncontrollable risks, uncontrollable. So, so the, whole, the whole idea will be very fast compromised. We must, build, we must use the, 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 the middle, the middle of between the two extremes. People who have uh, a positive sentiment towards risk, which, are, which is described, oversight, um, assessed, so after all, controllable to, to some extent. And if, if we prepare this sort of business proposition composed not only of one, of one entrepreneur, but a broad array of entrepreneurs, we can count on having this, 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 this culture. Uh, and finishing, by what you encouraged me to start with. In the end, we, we may have, like, like, like we succeeded in Poland, uh, almost 500 small, 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 small companies listed on the new connect market after three or four years, raising a lot of money, well, ridiculously low money when, when we compare them with the main market and, and, and its power to to, to, to make five, to, to assure companies with fundraising, but a lot of money in proportion to the size of these companies. And uh, during first or two years, we have 95% of individual investors in the turnover, but then and now it drops below 80%. Uh, it approaches 
70%. We have fast institutional investors. Why? Because this, ri this risk is to, you know, to the extent which is typical for these a little bit extravagant capital markets or platforms, it is, uh, it is uh, you know, uh, appropriately sold to, to the public.